Last year, they all pledged a fratrnity. All right? They all, pled, they all pledged a fratrnity, yeah. and they got in, and they won a championship. Okay. And here comes Pool back, and here comes Kaminga back, and here comes Moody back, and they're like, we're now brothers in the fraternity. But the Warrior brothers are saying they're not real brothers. In but fact, management in is fact, saying it. In fact, we're going to ask you to kind of pledge again. Like, I think that there's a chance that Kaminga and Moody and, and, and uh, Poole feel disrespected by the championship four. Okay, if Stani, everybody could see that they were going to lean on the youngsters more. So if I were one of the youngsters trying to pledge, I could see and get excited working my ass off that they're going to need me. Forget the results. They're going to need me. Bye-bye, Bielitsa. Bye-bye, Porter Jr. Bye-bye, Gary Payton II. So stop me where I'm wrong on the mental aspect it, aspect of it from management is showing you the way that the team is constructed. We're going to need you guys, including Wiseman. Somebody now, tell the Okay, nobody told the veterans. The veterans weren't on board. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I think there is something there with that. that but with those young, guys I just mentioned that are no longer here, the Porter Jr., shouldn't the veterans have known that, what? that they're, by, they're gone bye-bye? Right. So shouldn't Steph look down the, the roster like, okay, th these guys are going to they're gonna get an opportunity? And yeah. to be honest, they did. Right, and Steph's like, they're not good enough. Mm. They're not good enough. I don't, like, I think, I think, I don't think, Steph, Draymond, Clay, like Iguodala, offended, respect Kaminga and those guys and view them as championship players. I think the veterans view them as, you know what, we won the title kind of in spite of you guys last year. And the only reason we won the title was, thank God, we had Otto Porter and we had uh, Peyton II. Thank God. Because if we would have had to go with Wiseman and Kaminga and Moody a lot, we ain't going to win it. And so they got rid of Porter. Uh, he left. But, uh, and now they're looking at the team. And I think from the beginning of the year, the Warriors veterans knew, I don't know if this is going to work. Wow. Charles in South City. Hey, Charles. No. Let's go to Mario. Mario in Petaluma. Hi, Mario. Hey, what, hey what's up, guys? On my way to coach some soccer here. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful day. Um, you know, I don't think, sorry, I, I like how the show started, just couldn't call earlier. I think there's, there's no disconnect, it seems to me, between players. I think they like each other. Uh, I actually have kept some record of Draymond talking about these guys. I think they like each other, but I don't think Draymond and Steph and Clay think these guys are ready to compete. Exactly. At the high level, at decision-making, not making the mistakes, understanding your matchup, not falling into the tendencies of some players. I think the disconnect is totally between the top management, Joe Lacob and Draymond Green specifically. I think I don't think these guys have looked eye to eye in the last couple of seasons. I remember back then Draymond would put champagne on Joe Joe Lacob's tab and be bragging about this on social media. I think the air between them in the parade last year was a bit odd. It doesn't seem like they're looking eye to eye. So I think the disconnect is there. I think that players like each other. I think they have respect. They see the talent and the upside, but I don't think they think the younger guys are ready to compete. I'm with That's you. What they need. Thanks, Mario. I'm right, with I, you. I'm going to walk out of here at 2 fit when we get off, Snotty. And, and for the people that there's a line, if you subscribe to that, th that thought process, shame on the big three, the big four, yeah, for exactly. treating these dudes like this when you can go upstairs and you may have already done that and lay down the law to either Myers or Lakeup. And Lakeup would have told him to hit the pike. Right. And, and rightfully so. But, but you're still going to go. Hell are they? Yeah, but you're still going to go be a jerk to these dudes? Yes. See that? That's why I, you're a jerk. Oh, and I don't know that it's that cut yeah, and dry. I, I just can't see Steph being a jerk. Well, I'm, I, yeah. Steph, I have never put okay, Steph in right, this. Right. He's like an outlier. Yeah. He's going to be, you know, he's a lot. But I've seen Clay throw up the hands when Jordan shoots a shot. Of course. I, but yesterday, I don't care what piece. happened yet. Well, yeah. Yeah, man. He threw his mouthpiece. So when, where do you go from here? You got to play tomorrow. I mean, what do you mean? Like, I know I know what you mean, but I don't I, know I'm what you mean. I'm not trying to, like, 
add lighter fluid to a flame. I, like, what would Jordan Poole or Moody say about how they've been treated if this is going on? And I'm almost ready to give them kudos for being tight-lipped if this is really what's happening behind closed doors. And we talked to Looney. What, who did Looney give credit to? Andre. Who did Poole give credit to? Andre. But it wasn't Wiseman, Moody, or uh, who's the other one I'm missing? Kaminga. See, well, I think I, I, I'm lost. Yeah, Robin, Robin Milbray. Hey, Rob, how are you, buddy? Hey, what's up, Simon and uh, Guru? How you guys doing? Hey, doing well. By the way, uh, just gave birth. Uh, I'm a first time dad today. Uh, baby daughter. You're uh, calling this? Nice. What's her name? What's her name? Uh. I haven't shared it with the family yet, so I'm going to keep it on the DL. Oh, I'm being nosy. Okay. Right. So, wait a minute. Oh, wow. So, like, when was the baby born? Like, seven minutes ago? <laughs> right. Or a few hours, at least? No, uh, a few hours ago. Okay, so I'm the wife's probably taking a nap, and you're sneaking it. Yeah. All, right. All you, buddy. Go ahead. All right. So, I want to disagree with the take. I think that the elder statesmen on the team actually respect the young folks. Um, I know you were mentioning Andre, you know, um, was getting props from Poole and stuff, but on Andre Iguodala's podcast, he's brought on Moses Moody. He's brought on Jordan Poole. And so I think there is this mutual respect on the team. But right now, they just got, you know, Curry back. They just got to work through this. As long as we get into the playoffs, they're going to be a dangerous team. Thanks, guys. That's where, you know, we'll that's, see. Where, yeah, that's where my money's at, Stoney. We'll, we will see. Got, got, goo, goo. Brand uh, new baby. That's never happened. Proud Papa calls us. Was, shouldn't he be? He said, God got goo goo for the baby? I know, but how come he's calling in when they just had a baby three, four hours ago? Is that how big we are? Well, should he be, what, hitting the cognac or hippie lettuce? No. It's a compliment. No, he should share be, that with should us. should be being a father. I think he was watching the game at the hospital? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Labor. Absolutely. But you know what? A lot of times when women are on the verge of labor, they, they take them for walks. Like, they walk because that'll help them... Uh, could you imagine getting an epidural? I have a wife. Like, yeah, dude. It's just like a painkiller. Dude, it's What's a long problem? needle in your spine. You can't see it. What does it matter? I don't want no part. Women are the best. They're overrated. Dude, that's where you come from. <laughs> <laughs> dude, uh, I'm, I'm, honestly, do you believe what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Of course. I, like About what? This whole, just everything about this team. Because there's a lot of... And what, to agendas? Move to it. And, and and not backstabbing, but a lot of talk going on. If you, I don't believe it's to the degree you guys think. I, I just really don't. And it has nothing to do with our bet. I just, like the Draymond thing we get, we've been there, done that. I can't wait to hear his podcast. Or I know he did it at two. Oh, God. No, you, you're you going to listen to Shut see if he addresses play. this. Just play. Just play. 